Hey you guys, it's me Jess and I'm back with another video. Um so bright today. Well it's a beautiful day. Um, um it's so, so it's so bright I can't even um I think y'all should be able to see me, okay. Alright. So anyway, I just want to give you guys um a little couponing update. Um as you guys know, I've been doing the Dollar General deals um and posting them um i'll probably be doing one more but i i really need to take a, a break from couponing period no matter what <laughs> is going on unless i see something with like paper products or whatever i will be taking a break hold on let me open my window because it's getting a little hot in here all right okay Oh, that's much better. Okay. So, yeah, I will be taking um, a little break um, from couponing because, um, to be honest with you, I have too much stuff. That's number one. Number two, I really need to focus on um, organizing my stockpile because um, I it, it, it's just... It's, it's getting to the point where it's getting so big that I'm, like, running out of space. So, it, I really just need more shelves. And so, that's the next step. That's the next thing I'm, I'm going to be working on. I have been looking at other people's stockpile um, photos on Facebook and getting some kind of, and getting some ideas. Right now, my main stockpile for household products is in my garage. I used to keep stuff in my basement, but it's just a lot easier to keep my stockpile in my garage because my my laundry room is literally right there. Like, as soon as you go into my garage, the laundry room is right there. So, it's really easy if I need something to just go in the garage as opposed to, like, going back and forth to the basement. So, um, and then, honestly, I feel like I'm at times, even though we're getting really good deals, but I feel because I have multiple accounts, I am spending a little bit too much money. And this is part of the reason why I kind of stopped um extreme couponing years ago like i actually stopped couponing for years and that was one of the reasons why you guys have been following me for a long time didn't really see me posting videos because i really had just been like stopped couponing i'm not saying i would i went into a deal here and there but as far as like you know being on it like every single week i actually did stop that um and right now yeah i'm going to be taking a break first of all another reason i want to take a break really too is because dollar general i feel like so, so many people are couponing at dollar general now i think dollar general is trying to throw a little you know monkey wrench in the situation so we've been getting like really stupid coupons like first you start with a restrictive five off of 25 now you're saying you have to and i just also want to correct what i said in my video that i posted yesterday i said that you had to spend 20 to get a five dollar another five off of 25 coupon no let me correct that you have to spend um twenty dollars you won't get anything off at that point in time unless it's just your regular digital coupons but you have to spend twenty dollars and um i was supposed to open that garage you have to you have to spend twenty dollars and then and, and it's only on saturday you spend twenty dollars a saturday and then they'll give you a five dollar off coupon to use on any purchase so you could literally buy something for five dollars and get five dollars off but then that's also another way to get you back in the store because if you spend because really what's going to happen is if you spend twenty dollars on cent on saturday just to get that five dollar off coupon um when you um i'm gonna have to call her back when you do get your um when you do get that five dollar coupon and they're telling you that you have all week to use it more than likely you're not going to just spend five dollars you're not you're going to end up spending you might end up spending another 25 dollars or or 30 maybe so it's i feel like it's just a way to get you back in the store spending more way more money than you than you really need to so that's one of the reasons i'm going to probably be taking a pass on that so and all and also like I, I said i feel because i have multiple accounts i am spending a little more than i want to each week even though don't get me wrong i'm getting tons of stuff but at the same time i don't need to be spending about 40 50 dollars a week at dollar general i really don't especially since if i was just trying to build a stockpile like if i was a beginner i'd be like okay but i really do have so much stuff especially from over the years so i really i need to focus on re on organizing what i have right now um getting my bundles together because i was going to start selling some of my stockpile and not because i really need to because that's not something that i that's not income that i would be dependent on because i do have a career it's just that that would be also a great way to kind of knock my stockpile down a little bit because it is getting a little bit 
too much. So, you know, selling some of the stuff, you know, that I know I'm not really going to use. Or, like, for instance, I have tons of Tide Free and Clear, which I know I'm never, I probably am not going to use anytime soon, not going to get to, because I, I really like the heavy scented detergents. So I might be end up selling some of those. Um, I have a lot of fabric softener, like downy fabric softeners and stuff that I probably will, you know, put together with downy and make some bundles and sell those, which really won't be hard because even where I work at, I have people all the time asking me if I'm going to be, if I have any detergents to sell and things like that. And uh, I really didn't want to get too much into selling my stockpile. Reason being is because, um, first of all, I like to have this stuff for myself and my own family. That's number one. And number two, I feel like if I started selling too many things, it would just keep me in the stores because you want to keep getting stuff to replace what you're selling or to just make sure that you don't run out of stuff. So if I'm not, that's why I didn't really want to get into like really heavily selling things. So I don't mind selling a few things, but I'm not going to make it a habit where I'm just selling things constantly because, um, I'm really trying to make sure I have my own stuff. And then I don't want to be living in a store. And that's another thing too. Even though we love couponing and saving money. But that's another th reason I want to take a break. Because even though the digital couponing is super easy. But just the whole idea of just every Saturday going to the store. And then you could end up being there for hours. You know. And, and you can be spending time with your family. You know. Or doing something else to, to benefit you. So that's another thing. Like I remember one Saturday, I was literally between the three Dollar Generals I went to. It was like four hours, and I'm just like, I don't want to waste my Saturdays going from store to store to get things that I already have, regardless of how great the deals are. You get what I'm saying? So that was one of the reasons I was like, well, I could, I might delete some of my Dollar General accounts and just have keep one that I will use. Because at this point, if I just do one deal a week or one deal once in a month, I'll still have my stuff. You get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, but right now, like I say, I'll probably be taking a break because, like I said, I'm not going to be using these silly coupons that they're giving us. And um, I have a feeling the PNG is probably going to be going back to giving these silly dollar off coupons, which I'm not going to use. I only do the two dollar off coupons. That's the reason I haven't been getting any gain. I only get gain when they give two dollar off coupons, and Tide I only do Tide when they give two dollar off coupons. So that's why I like to stock up when they give those high value coupons. That way, when they go back to their dollar off or their fifty cent off, I don't even bother going to the stores at all. So those will be like my break times. So. But that's about it. Yeah, I will be definitely taking a break from Dollar General. So I'll pro I will post a video this Saturday, though, because I did get one from when I went Saturday. I only did two deals on Saturday. And like I told you in my other video, one of the receipts actually did have um, a five off of 20 a regular five off of 25 so i'll i'll do one deal with that because i already thought of a deal in my mind that will only cost me seven dollars and it does have stuff in there that i do need like i do need more always pads and i we have that coupon that expires on the 28th for the three off of two so i was going to get the pads and stuff and some other things and you know the way i did it in my when i wrote it down it'll come down to about seven dollars and that'll just be like one deal and i will share that with you guys um on saturday when i post a video so but yeah, guys, that's about it. But yeah, um, couponing is great. You definitely want to save money for yourself, for your family. Because, um, I mean, if you were to buy all these things at regular price, you would spend uh, quite a bit of money each month. So it is cool to go and have 10 bucks and get a bunch of detergents and fabric softs and things that you, like, that you need. But once you get your stockpile bill, it is good to take a break. Because like I said, it can be very time consuming just being in the stores and all of that stuff. So, But I will say this, the digital couponing is a lot more easier and convenient because I'm not going to lie to you, I don't like clipping coupons anymore. I don't collect newspapers anymore. I'm not saying I might not get an insert here and there, but that's something I don't want to go back to clipping a bunch of coupons and you know organizing them and doing all that extra stuff I just don't have the time or the desire to do that anymore it's just a lot easier for me to just you know do the digitals and then honestly my couponing has changed when I first started couponing I was couponing for everything at the time my younger son was a baby so I was couponing for pampers wipes food you know um personal care items medicine um you know home supplies um my life has changed a lot in the past couple of years since i started couponing so i'm not couponing for those things anymore like i said i don't eat processed foods or meat or dairy items so i'm not couponing for that the majority of my grocery shopping i do at the farmer's market anyway 
So I, I'm not couponing for those things. I don't have babies anymore, so I don't care about pam pampers and wipes. I have tons of body wash. Y'all will be surprised. Over the years, I've accumulated so about so much body wash. So I'm not gonna be running out of that no time soon. Um, shampoos and conditioners, tons of that stuff. I mean, especially from the CVS days. So <laughs> when I was really tearing up CVS. So I'm not gonna be out of that anytime soon. So the only things I've really been keeping up with is is, is household supplies. And then also a lot of the stuff I used to get from CVS, I used to keep on from makeup you know lotion facial cleansers things like that i don't even wear makeup anymore to be honest with you i uh you, i don't wear makeup anymore um i don't even use all those lotions and facial creams or anything like that the only thing i put on my skin is like shea butter i bathe with black soap anyway and i wash my face with black soap or shea butter every day the only thing i put on my skin is shea butter so a lot of those you know um products at the store that have all those chemicals i don't even use that stuff anymore i got so much makeup at home that i don't that is brand new and i'll probably will never use it so a lot of that stuff will probably end up giving away so but yeah so you know um that's another thing too like why uh, you know my couponing has changed um you know and like i said as far as the food you know one thing i've noticed about with the food thing i'm not saying you can't get some healthy coupons here and there like i will get coupons for silk and um, almond breeze, sometimes some organic cereals and things like that. Maybe Guardian might give a coupon here and there. But for the most part, most of, if you notice, most of the, um, the, the stuff that, the food that we get coupon, yeah, you gotta feed your family, do what you gotta do, but at the same time, I want my kids to be healthy. I wanna be healthy. I don't wanna put a whole bunch of crap in my body, nor my kids. And so, if you notice, a lot of the coupons is for junk. It is. A lot of it is a lot of bullshit. Like, um, I, I've seen a lot of people do videos, um, Dollar Tree videos about getting all of those Jimmy Dean sandwiches and sausages and stuff for free or like ridiculously cheap with that coupon. And I'm just like, yeah, that's cool. You got like 20 packs of Jimmy Dean sausages, sandwiches for, for free. But then you know how horrible those things are for you know how much sodium and, you know, and, and fat and cholesterol they have in those things it's no good and this process probably gonna back you up and all that old type of stuff so i mean it, it's not worth it you know you are what you eat and you get what you pay for so if you're getting all that stuff uh, it's in the dollar tree for a reason and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that you ain't got no good stuff in the dollar tree as far as food items because like you can get dried beans there and i know they got like brown rice and they have some they have canned fruit that that's actually good but other than that, like, I wouldn't be getting too much stuff from there, to be honest. Um, but I will say, there's something I buy from Dollar Tree a lot. I do like their frozen fruits for to make smoothies. I get those a lot. Especially the blueberries. If anything, I normally go there for the frozen blueberries. Because the, fro the frozen blueberries are pretty good. And you're getting a really good amount for, like, a dollar. And they do sell, like, frozen mangoes and stuff like that. They're at, and they are good because I have tried them. So, but yeah, that's something we need to be mindful of, like, just because something is cheaper for us, I mean, that you should be getting it, especially when it comes to food, like, and that's one thing I learned, like, when I was married, and we used to keep on for food a lot, yeah, I had a lot of stuff, but a lot of it was junk, but at the time, you're not really thinking about it, because you're just thinking about food and feeding your family, but all that box mashed potatoes, hamburger, helper, all them hot dogs, sausages bacon yeah we had the coupons and we're getting for like nothing but it was it was no good it wasn't good for us so um and like i said there is a way there are ways to shop and get great deals and not and, and, and still eat healthy like i say i do most of my shopping at the farmer's market and i'll go to places like aldi's and um and trader joe's and things like that so but yeah anyway guys i just want to give y'all a little update on what's going on so yeah you will get one more video from me for dollar general this week just one because i only got one receipt because I, I refuse i will not use that other coupon but um and after that i will be taking a break so but i was thinking about like doing some other videos because i know i used to do cooking videos and stuff so i think i may be doing like some vegan videos and I, and I actually want to start back doing um vegan shopping hauls because and just to show people that you because I, I mean that's something i have to do anyway i gotta, do, I gotta go, go grocery store grocery shopping on a weekly basis so just to do some vegan vegetarian grocery hauls so that people can see that hey you can go to the store and get like really great items um you know plant-based items and and not spend a lot of money and because a lot of people are under the um, impression that if you eat vegetarian or vegan it's very expensive and that's not the case 
So, but anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.